going to talk about case, case capacity. I'm going to make a comparison here. For many years we've had a 300 Winchester cartridge. It's a very good cartridge. It's an, it's an, accurate, it's an accurate round, properly loaded and so forth. Always has been. It's been used, used even in long range, long range competitive shooting. Over the years, there's cartridges that, that pop up from time to time. A number of years ago, we started seeing what was described as the short mags, the 270, the 7 millimeter, and the 300 Winchester short mags. And there's been others with the idea that this is a better, that this is a better, better choice than maybe some of the other things that we've got. It's a little shorter, it's a little fatter cartridge, and I don't find any one of those three cartridges to be any more accurate than anything else. Say, compare a 300 Winchester Magnum and a 300 Winchester Short Mag. Well, on a level playing field, they're not exactly comparable because they don't perform, one doesn't perform like the other performs. But we've had people try to make us believe, basically salesmen, try to tell us that the 300 Winchester, I mean the 300 Winchester short mag outperforms the 300 Winchester mag. Well the only way that that can happen is that we load the 300 Winchester short mag up to high pressure and we load the 300 Winchester mag down to lower pressure. It's all about square inches. The capacity of the 300 Winchester Magnum is considerably more. If you've got, if you've got a vehicle that's got a 360 cubic inch engine and you've got one that's got a 400 cubic inch engine which one has more go? Which one has more horsepower? It's simply the one with the more cubic inches. So it only stands to reason that the 300 Winchester with more cubic inches internally is capable of higher velocity. The fact of the matter is, is that the 300 Winchester Magnum is capable of somewhere between 250 to 350 feet a second more with, with equal bullet weights loaded to the same pressure. I'm talking about this because I had somebody bring two rifles to me, one in each caliber, and somebody had, had just simply loaded some ammunition for them and said they were both the same. Well, they're not the same. A 300 Winchester short mag was loaded with 180 grain, 180 grain <coughs> nozzle acubon at 2,862 feet a second, and the 300 Winchester was loaded at right around 3,000 feet a second. Well, the truth is that neither one of them are loaded up to their, to their potential, loaded up to equal pressure levels. So, loaded to equal pressure levels, the 300 Winchester Magnum, because it's got more internal capacity, can burn more powder, is going to give you more velocity. And this applies to every caliber, whether we're talking about caliber in 17 caliber, up up to 50 caliber. If we increase, if we increase the capacity of the case, this increases the the actual performance. It's all about square inches, and we're talking about interior ballistics, and we're talking about exterior ballistics. The interior ballistics of the of the of a case is 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 more capable of delivering higher external ballistics. The actual velocity of these bullets. This is how this is how it's worked. But we've got people writing and talking about things that they really don't understand. I don't know where they missed the boat. The information's been out here for years on on case capacity and in the comparisons and whatnot, and at one time, at one time, 
there was there was somebody that that manufactured in for sale to the public a slide rule and you could use that slide rule you know it was developed and thought of by by Robert Hutt, Hutton and and Bob Forker many many years ago and Robert Hutton has, has, has been gone and he was a he was a tremendous ballistician and Robert Forker is still around and those people made, made that slide rule and you could basically use that slide rule to determine according to known case capacity what that case with a particular bullet weight particular barrel length would be capable of and it would also designate what categories burn rate of powders would give you the highest velocities in individual cases whatever you might happen to select so you know and we're going to continue to see cartridges come out by various companies try to sell it try to sell it on the aspect well it does this like it like some other cartridges will do well if anybody knows anything at all about internal capacity of cases you would know that the bigger case is always going to give you higher velocity now there's a point where there's d diminishing returns you know there's a point where the case capacity is much too large for the bore size and you can't you can't gain anymore but it's still that case still gives you the highest velocity that's possible in that bore size irregardless as long as you're using the the proper burn rate proper burning rate of, of powder in the in the case so these are things that that we need to we need to understand and when, when we're looking at you know we're looking at different capacity cases and I might add in this conversation that in virtually any one of these cartridges that the slowest the slowest powders the slowest powders listed in your loading manual are invariably the powders that give you the highest velocity and the slower the burn rate of the powder the, the slower it builds pressure the higher the burn the higher the number in other words the faster the powder the faster the powder the faster burn rate of powder builds pressure faster it just all stands to reason it's it's a matter of of how it ignites and how it reacts in a particular cartridge case so you know if you're loading if you're loading say IMR 4350 in your 7 millimeter Remington Magnum you're shooting you're shooting and using a powder that's too fast for the cartridge you need to be using a powder with a burn rate in the neighborhood of 7828 H1000 something right in that category retumble or something like that with with our heavier heavier bullet weights 4350 is not proper for any really any of the bullet weights for hunting 140, 140 up to 175. We need to pick these faster powders. That's why, for instance, when the seven millimeter Remington Magnum was, you know, conceived many years ago, and you know the idea of taking over bought bought by Remington, Dupont, Dupont, they developed a particular powder for that particular case. Why? because we need to have the proper burn rate of powder for the case to give us the velocity potential that we needed that powder was 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 7828 and after a lot of years it finally became available to the public and I have some of the original powder you know made by DuPont for for the 7 Remington Magnum and I've, I've compared that powder I've got about a pound of it yet and I've compared it to, to current lots of 7828 and it you know it it virtually is the same. So anyway, that's that's kind of some of the rundown on on burn rates and what we need to be using in in reloading. Not the faster powder, not the faster powder, but the slower powder is 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 a rule what we need to choose for the particular application.